going over here to the streets of Golden State, going to San Francisco here, guys, then post those questions um, in the chat. Uh, we got the Warriors here getting two and a half points slash two points at the house. Home underdog once again. Man, I wonder if the books are handing out free money here. Blazers laying two and a half on the road here. Over and under sitting at 232 and a half here, Josh. Um, do, what do you think here? Do the, I mean, Warriors on the money line seems pretty easy here. Obviously, they've been one of the top tier teams at the house. Obviously, missing their star. They came back versus the Jazz. Can they do it here once again as home underdog here, Josh? Yeah, they're on a nice little run at home since, since coming back after being embarrassed in New York on back-to-back -back occasions. Um, but again, I think this is just a completely different matchup for them and trying to deal with two very good scoring guards in Anthony Simons and Damian Lillard is probably going to be a task that uh, I think where things come undone for them a little bit. And mm -hmm. not having use of Nurkic won't be nice, so I'm hoping he's still good to go downgraded now to questionable after being probable. Um, but... You know, again, I, you look at the Warriors, yeah, three wins are great. Their offense hasn't looked particularly reliable in those. They've been doing it with their defense, which has been fantastic. Um, but defensively, like I said, it, it's just a different task to have to stop two very good scoring guards uh, that, that Portland possess. And I'm not sure that they're necessarily going to be able to match up to that. I think that's going to be a very tough ask for that backcourt um, to keep those guys in check in particular. Whereas I do think Portland still has enough defensively to sort of at least make life uncomfortable and difficult enough for a Warriors offense that is still a little bit too one-dimensional without Steph. Um, you know, they've been shooting the ball fantastically from deep, and that's kind of what they've been relying on these last few games. The Jazz last game were in complete control, and then, you know, they put up 13 points in the fourth quarter, went ice cold from deep where they couldn't hit a single thing. But they were getting really good looks and the looks that they wanted uh, in that situation. So, you know, if Portland's able to generate similar looks, I, I don't think that they go anywhere near as ice cold. And, you know, they should be able to score, um, particularly from three-point range, and enough to keep pace with the Warriors. Whereas, you know, you look at a game like Memphis, for example, where Memphis were eight for about 40 from deep and were minus 27 in three-point scoring. You know, you're not going to win a game like that in the NBA unless you have significant advantages elsewhere. So I, I don't think the Warriors have those same advantages in this particular matchup. I think Portland um, uh, are in pretty good stead here coming off of a decent win, coming off of three days rest uh, where they've been very efficient all season long. Uh, I like the Blazers here to get it done on the road to sort of snap their funk, if you will, of road games. I think they've only won one of their last five on the road. So this just sets up as a really nice spot for them. But again, I do hope that Nurkic is good to go because uh, I think he's going to be a pretty pivotal part for them. Exactly. Yeah. And the main reason I'm right there with you, Josh, I like the Blazers here as well. First half may be a little bit better. Look, we saw the Jazz come out there in the first half and catch as well. Jazz were up after three quarters. They basically just lost their game in the fourth quarter. Uh, maybe they tried to tank that game away, but regards to that, um, like I say, it just feels super easy to take the Warriors here. I'm not buying it, and the main reason why I like the Blazers here, last time these two teams faced off, they absolutely smoked the Blazers. I'm talking about they rolled them up and gassed them up, man. 132 to 95. That was in Portland as well, so um, I'm, I guarantee, and that was when obviously that was when the Blazers were sitting out all their guys last year. I guarantee you they remembered it and they get us some little revenge here. We know that Dame always likes to ball out over there in Oakland slash San Francisco as well. So uh, give me the Blazers here. I think Dame and Simons will be a little bit too much um, for, for Jordan Poole and company in this one. Obviously, we need them to knock down their threes. If they're not, they could get smoked. But uh, I actually like Blazers first half and full game in this one. I think they get it started early. Um, that's, you got to go out there and punch Golden State in the mouth. You can't let get, get behind uh, and then try to come back from them. So, Alex, how are you looking at this game, my guy? So I'm interested to hear you say that it seems too easy to bet Golden State because it seems too easy to me to yep. bet Portland. They're no. only a two and a half point favorite against this Warriors team without Wiggins, without Curry. I just been, I've been thinking about this game all day. I don't know why I haven't bet Portland yet. Now I have a good excuse with the, with the, the you know the um, Nurkic injury nonsense going on here. But it does. Everything looks like this is adding up for Portland. Dame loves playing this team. Simons has been really good. So I'm with you guys. This this all makes sense to me. I just I haven't been able to do it yet. I don't know what it's holding me back, but I think I'll just watch and cheer for you guys. But Portland seems to me like the easier side. We appreciate that uh, as well, Alex. But no, when I say that, because the Warriors are 15 and two straight up at the house, and they're underdogs, mm -hmm. right? The last game they were underdogs as well versus the Jazz, um, and then they and they uh, and they end up winning, right? So what I'm saying is, to the public eye, they're gonna say the Warriors at the house they can't lose, and we're getting plus money. I'm gonna take that all day. So that's why I say it feels like it's free money. There, the fact that they're plus money at the house, 15 and two, the Golden State Warriors, the defending champs. I know they were without Steph, but regardless, let's see what happens in this one, man. I 
I am rocking with the Blazers, Josh, as well. We need them here. Um, hopefully, this, this could be a trifecta spot from the Blazers in this one, my guys.